Thank you, the governor. The Lord bless you. Bless your family. Bless the government of Fondo State. And our Oba here, the Lord be with you. And the Lord bless the kingdom, Ondo kingdom. And everyone here tonight, what are you there? Triumphant power in Jesus' name. Miracle waiting for you here today. Your soul, your spirit, your body, your family, your life, the rain of miracle will fall on everyone. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. You are here already. Your power is here. The light is here. And we pray every form, every power of darkness will vanish away in Jesus' name. Tonight, all the expectation of your people, you will fulfill in every life in Jesus' name. Shine in every heart. Shine in every life. And your miracle power will be triumphant over everyone. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight as we begin this great global crusade. Here at the Alpha location. I want to assure you. That the triumphant power of the Lord is here to roll away your problem. I'm reading Malachi chapter 4, and I'm reading from verse 2. It says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth. And grow up as calves of the storm. The Lord is assuring us that where we are is the holy ground of the Lord. And is going to pour down mighty power from on high. And he says, the son of righteousness in the sunshine stage. The son of righteousness will arise in your life. No darkness will stay there. No disease will stay there. Everything that is contrary, contrary to your progress, contrary to your life, everything tonight will vanish away. Tonight, I'm speaking to you on the triumphant power of the Son of righteousness, irresistible power, saving power, healing power, delivering power. Tonight, it's coming your way. Three things I'm looking at the to message tonight. Number one, the Son, S O N, the Son, our Redeemer, mighty to save. Number two, the Son, S U N. The son of righteousness, mighty to heal. Now, number three, the sons, the children of God, the people of God, those who come to surrender themselves voluntarily, completely, unreservedly unto God. The sons of royalty, mighty through salvation. The Lord wants to convey his might, his power, right into your life. He does that through one avenue. And it is through the salvation he has provided for us. Number three then, the sons of royalty, mighty through salvation. Look at number one here. Number one, the son, our redeemer, mighty to save. 
the Lord knew and he still knows we have all been in problems, predicaments, pandemic, things we could not solve by ourselves. And he looked over all the avenues and the streets of heaven. Someone to come into this world of ours and save us from sin, from sickness, from Satan, from perplexing situations. Who will he send? Myriads of angels were there. They were not qualified to take us away from all the problems that plague our lives. And the Son of God, our Redeemer, said, I will go. I will go for the salvation, for the redemption, for the healing, for the deliverance of everyone on the face of the earth. I want you to imagine that your family, your village, your tribe, your community has a peculiar problem and you were looking for solution. You were looking for a deliverer, a redeemer, and you could find none except the highest, the greatest, the mightiest, and the most important person in the world. And then he volunteered and he said, this problem that you are facing, this problem that your family is facing. The problem is so great that no other one can help. And he says, I will leave every other thing, abandon every other thing, and I will come to you and save you and deliver you and set you free. Now, if that person comes and you're too busy to give attention to him, you are too busy to come to him. You are too busy to say yes to him. What do you think will happen? That that person has taken the greatest expense. And now he has come. I'm talking about Jesus Christ that led the glory in heaven. Led all the worship of the angels in heaven. And led even the presence and the fellowship of his heavenly father and he said i will go there because of the love he has for you now he has come he died for you on the cross of calvary to become your redeemer and he he alone he he alone without any help of any other person he alone has come and he's mighty to save. You will not stay back and sit back. And you will not turn your back on such a redeemer. You will say, if he has paid so great a price. And if he has come so that I in particular might be saved. The wisest thing for you to do. And the most expected thing for you to do is to say, yes, Lord, I reciprocate your love. I give back your love. I surrender myself because of what you have done. That's the response is expecting from you. I said he is mighty to save. Let me read I say, chapter 63 and verse 1. And hear what it says. It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom? Is coming, coming. And then he reaches you. And you say, Who is this? What have I done? Who am I that such? A great Savior, a great Redeemer will come to me. Who is this? The Eternal One. Who is this? 
the one, the prince of heaven and earth. Who is this? The most high has come and is coming to bring salvation to you. And then he says, with dyed garments from Brusel. This that is glorious in his apparel. Nobody as glorious, as great, as mighty, as powerful as the Lord Jesus Christ. Glorious in power, glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. It's a strength that he has that no power on earth, no power from hell can receive. And he says, who is this? Well, his name is Jesus, the Son of God, and his name is your own very Savior. Nobody can compete with him in helping you. In saving you, in delivering you, and nobody can re reproduce what he alone can do in your life. Then he himself now answers the latter part of that verse I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. I from heaven, I sent by the heavenly Father. I that came to rescue you, mighty to save. It will save you tonight. It changed your life tonight. The transforming power of Christ will come in your life tonight. It will turn your life around for the better. As you come and you say, yes, I've tried. I've made resolutions. I've tried. I tried to do my best, but my best could not reach up to your glory. And I am helpless. Your help has come. Hopeless. Your hope has come. You were suffering deficiencies in your life. Your character, your behavior, your strength. Your skill, everything you wanted to do, you know, between you and your heart. You know the failure. You know the faltering. And you know the feebleness of your life. You know the failure is secret and you say, how can I overcome this? Your savior that will make you overcome has now come. Your savior your redeemer that will put you on top of that problem. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. It will save you. You've been in the hands of that mighty, terrible Satan and your life ruined, destroyed by that powerful personality. The principalities and powers, they held you down. They said, you will not go. The mighty Savior has come for you tonight. Yeah. It will set you free. Yeah. Sickness that has held you in captivity. Every time you want to do something good, that sickness will come. It's like they're just watching around the corner and they're watching you. What before you, once you get the money, then they'll throw that arrow of sickness and you say, am I going to be working for sickness? I get, I give up, I get, I lose. Tonight will make a difference in your life. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to say it will save you. Yeah. I'm coming to number two here now. Number two. We're talking about the son of righteousness. Mighty to heal. In the world, we thank God for those who have been helping the sick. And that has actually been on 
for thousands of years that when people get sick then somebody comes and helps them but in the history of the world there has always been sicknesses and diseases that the practitioners could not really help it gets to a stage and they say only god in our lives even in our civilization in all the good things that the strides that the medical profession has made there is still always something ahead of science ahead of the good practices of the great people who are helping us that they say this is terminal they say this is incurable they say this one does not have an earthly solution that's why christ has come every sickness every infirmity every disease that did not have earthly solution heavenly solution has come today it will kill you your brain your body every part of you because the son of righteousness as a reason and it will heal you when you got it your miracle is waiting for you let me look at that malachi again chapter 4 and i'm reading from verse 2 it says but unto you who i said who the healer has come tonight for you it says but unto you that fear my name you know the name you fear the name you love the name you respect the name you honor the name that's why you are here and my friends online there that's why you are there and you pledge everything and you say i'll spend this time honor the lord remember the lord embrace the lord pray to the lord you will not stay there in vain and all of us who are here all of us in every congregation any country and every country of the world you are not here in vain in jesus name unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise and when that son of righteousness arises darkness will vanish away evil powers will be broken all your yokes tonight will be broken in jesus name you are bent down by sickness by disease and it appears that you do not have and you do not know where the solution will come the solution has come tonight that son of righteousness that the darkness of the world cannot beat back that all the all the powers that generate problems in life that all those powers they come that son of righteousness tonight as it rises for you who is the son of righteousness arising for tonight where are you arise in your life darkness away disease away infirmity away that the power of the son of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings continuous healing because the name of the lord that name will take every sickness every infant, whatever the name whatever the description everything 
it will take away today in Jesus' name. And then it says, ye shall go forth with healing. You will go forth with power. You'll go forth with skill. You'll go forth and everything called impossibility will clear out of your life tonight. And then it says, and you will grow up. All the diseases that hinder your physical growth, your bone, your blood system, anything and everything, everything will vanish away. Incurable diseases are healed tonight. Cancer, gone. Ulcer, gone. Bone problem in your bone marrow, everything gone in Jesus' name. If you brought anyone blind, the Lord will touch them tonight. That blindness and dimness of sight will vanish away tonight in Jesus' name. And then, what you have found impossible. I couldn't do that. I couldn't stand. You will stand. I couldn't walk. You will walk. I couldn't hear. Since that child had been born, this child could not walk. Tonight, your night of miracle in Jesus' name. We were having the crusade. And there was this person in Abelkota. And she had this great problem. Her name, Babalola Mercy. And she had this problem that even took away an infection in her breast that had taken away and destroyed her self-confidence. And as we pray, and the Son of Righteousness arose for her like it's going to arise for you tonight. Yeah. That thing was taken away. Let me show her face to you. Let her talk to you about what happened to her. Thank you, Mercy. Please speak to us. My name is Babalola Falake Messi. I want to give glory to God for what he did in my life. Last year, September, I noticed a crack on my right breast and gradually, gradually, the wound started becoming bigger and it became a thing of worry to me. I went to the hospital, I was given drugs, I went for scan, though my fear then was it was cancer, but glory to God, it was not. I was told it's a chronic infection on my right breast. A recurrent um... Areola infection, that is infection of the black parts of the breast, could be debilitating to a woman and it could be a signal to cancer of the breast. After laying hand on that part of the breast in a church meeting, the woman received healing. For the past eight months now, she's not seen that recurrent breast infection. That indeed is quite surprising. I took drugs from December to January, but to no avail. Rather, it was becoming worse, and the wound was actually bringing out water. So during the January crusade, when Pastor Komoyi talked about the healing of the woman with the issue of blood, I keyed into it, and I told God, I've spent money on drugs, and I've gone to various hospitals just like the woman with the issue of blood. And now I want my perfect soundness, just like Pastor has proclaimed. So I received that. And to God be the glory. A day just came, I checked my breast like I always do. And I noticed the breast was no longer bringing out discharge. And since January up to now, I got my perfect soundness. So praise the Lord. I want to thank Pastor Kumweyi for this global crusade. And I want to thank God for what he has done in my life. Somebody praise the Lord. It's your turn. I said it's your turn. That mighty power of the Lord will touch your life tonight. Triumphant power. Travel about to my right, my front, to my left, 
online, everywhere, coming your way. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's a sister, that's a lady. Let me bring a man to you now, Joseph Chuko from Enogon Stage. He had prostate cancer. And after many years of urinary incontinence, the crusade came his way. He was healed. I didn't hear your amen. <laughs> Brother Choco, please talk to us about what happened and how you got your miracle. I was diagnosed with a post-ray cancer. And the uh, end of the day, I went to the hospital. I I start treatment and the whole thing happened, brought a shame and the problems in my life. Prostate cancer is one of the very dangerous cancers affecting men. Normally from the age of 45 or 40, 45, the prostate will start enlarging. And if, if nothing happens, the person will develop what they call a lower urinary tract symptoms, what we call hesitancy, dribbling of urine, dribbling of incomplete voiding and, and the rest of them. To the extent I'm a driver. When I drive, at times I wait myself. So this thing brought a shame and a disgrace in my life. I end of the day I heard that uh, Pastor Kumi is coming to Enugu. A divine touch. So I came in and believed that this time around is going to be my own turn. So the after the administration, he said, wherever you have problems, lay your hand upon yourself. When he prayed, by the grace of God, that is all over. I went back to the hospital. They checked me. They said there's no post-ray cancer again. So yeah, this is me. And they can see me, a, a grandfather, a, a, the joy in my life is so beautiful. So God bless you all. God bless you all. The Lord did it for them. It's now your turn. Say, it's my turn. It's my turn. I won't uh, take more time. I come to number three now. Number three, the sons of royalty. The Lord wants to put honor on your life. He wants to have you as his own son, as his own daughter. And when he does that, Christ mighty to save, Christ mighty to heal, now you will be mighty through the salvation of the Lord. The Lord will take over your life, change your life, and turn everything around for the better. It will forgive all your sins. It will save your soul. It will heal your body. He will take you as a peculiar person, a valued person, a precious person, peculiar in the sight of the Lord in Jesus' name. But we have to cooperate with him. He wants to make us a child of royalty, son, daughter of royalty. And then we have to show that we're ready for that. I'm looking for that. I want the God of heaven to count me special and then bring special blessing into my life. And let me read to you from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Now, why will God say something like that? Because you know, 
the company you belong to, the crowd you belong to, the gang you belong to, the group you belong to will determine what you have. And the Lord wants a special blessing for you. And he says, once you mix and you stay and abide, with the ordinary, with the downtrodden, with the sinful, with the defiled, then it's not able to, you're doing what they're doing, you're eating what they're eating, you're drinking, you know, what they're drinking, you're worshipping the same idol, they're worshipping, you know, how can he make a special, a special peculiar person out of you? He wants to bless you, he will bless you tonight. That's why he says, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? Or what communion has light with darkness? You know, the people who are in darkness, they're in darkness because they are hiding something. They are hiding their character. They stay in darkness so that they can perpetrate evil. If you are in darkness of them, the Lord will be looking at you as part of them and those in darkness will have judgment. He says, what are you doing with them? And he says, what communion has light with darkness? In verse 15, he says, in verse 15, what concord has Christ with Belial, or what part has he that believeth with an infidel? An infidel, a person who doesn't uh, recognize the presence of God, the power of God, and he doesn't recognize the authority of God on the life of anyone. And uh, you are like them, you act like they act. How will the special blessing come upon you? And yet tonight, special blessings for you. Yeah. Special healing for you. Yeah. Special power for you. Yeah. What part has he that believeth with an infidel? Verse 16, it says, And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. You belong to God tonight. Sin will go. Idolatry will go. Evil occultism that will go. And then eating and drinking what harms your body, what destroys your life. All those destructive things, you'll say, bye-bye, I am going to Christ. Let me hear your amen. And tonight, as you hand over your life to the Lord, You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. It says, as God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. It will happen. You'll become child of God. No, I don't mean you know, everybody. Nobody wants to be a child of the devil. They say, children of God, raise up your hand. Everybody raises up their hand. But in reality, in reality, heaven will recognize you. You become a child of God tonight. What do I do? What do we do? What do you do to become a certified child, son, daughter of God? Verse 17. In verse 17, wherefore come out from among them. Single yourself out and say, Tonight I give myself to God. If I've been in any gang, if I've been in any way living in sin, living in darkness, living in evil, come out from among them. 
and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. The Lord is waiting for you tonight. He will receive you. Out of darkness into light, He will receive you. Out of sickness into health, He will receive you. Out of your sin and to the righteousness, redemption of the Lord, He will receive you tonight. Wherefore come out from among them, and be separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Then in verse 18, and will be a father unto you. The creator, a father unto you. The most high God will be a father unto you. The one that lives in light and there's no darkness at all, he says, I will be a father unto you. The one that will restore you and repair everything that has gone wrong in your life, he says, and I will receive you. And ye shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Almighty. The Lord is going to receive you tonight. As you do what he has said and you come out from anything that you are doing which is not the will of God, you become a child of royalty, a son of royalty, a daughter of royalty. Now it will happen. To you, where are you there? It will happen to you. And heaven will have it on record that tonight you came out of what is wrong and you come into the very presence of God and it becomes your father and you come into the family of God. And from tonight, if you take that step, everything good will be flowing your way. Forgiveness will come. Freedom will come. Healing will come. Total deliverance will come. But you have to take a personal step and make up your mind and have a personal decision. And you belong to God tonight in Jesus' name. Ex bowed and eyes closed. Your moment of decision has now come. Your moment of handing over your life has now come. It's about an eyes closed. Remember, the, the decision that makes triumphant power to start working in your life. It's about eyes closed. You want to take that step right now. Heaven is watching. God is waiting. You want to take that step right now. Just raise up your hand and say, God, I'm here. I come. I hear your call. And you call me out of darkness to come to the light. I hear the call. Lord, I come. Raise up that hand. Anywhere you are, online, anywhere you are, any country, any congregation where you are, this is that blessed moment of decision. Thank you there. God bless you. All those who are raising up their hands, you stand up as I'm going to pray with you. You are raising up your hand. You say, I come out, out of my sin, out of my shameful acts, out of the gang, and out of the dark, dark group, out of occultism, out of idolatry, out of every form of evil. Lord, I come. That's right. God bless you. The Lord has seen you there and the Lord will receive you right now. And triumphant power will bring the salvation of God into your life tonight in Jesus' name. Keep on standing now. We're going to pray together. Turning around in your life. Change for the better in your life. Salvation. Forgiveness.
freedom. And then your identity will change today because you'll become a son, a daughter of royalty. And you'll be mighty through his salvation. Raise up that hand while you're standing. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the open invitation you have given everyone. And you have said, whosoever will may come. Lord, as these stand up now, and they do what you have said in their mind, in their heart, in their decision, they come out of every sin not acceptable unto you. According to your promise, receive them in Jesus' name. Forgive their past. Set them free from the past yoke and the past deficiencies and defilements in their lives in Jesus' name. Write their names in the book of life. I will pray that your spirit will bear witness in their hearts right now that become sons and daughters of royalty. Let your salvation Make them mighty in life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. It is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there, and they'll give you the slip to fill. We just want to identify with you, but don't go yet. After this, I'll come back and then pray and God's triumphant power will roll away every sickness, disease, infirmity in your life, in your body, in Jesus' name. Our counselors, please help us very quickly so that we can move on to the next thing. I call on our pastor here to take over the counseling session now. You've taken a wonderful decision tonight. And the Lord is backing you up with his power. Make sure you write down your names correctly. Your phone number. And let's do that very quickly. The power of God, the triumphal power of God is coming tonight. That is just the first step, the greatest step. That you have just taken, God is happy for the decision you have taken tonight. Anywhere you are, write down your name very quickly. If you are watching online, you've just given your life to Christ. After the pastor's prayer this evening, visit the link showing on the screen. That's where you will see dclmhub.com Visit that link and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new walk with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television, you just gave your life to Christ. Send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp with the number you are looking at on the screen. Plus 234-9154-4492 and 63. I call begin. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. And for those of us who have just given our lives to Christ in the Alpha location and in your own locations where you are over there, that would be a special meeting. 
We call it Lunch Hour with Jesus. This will be coming up tomorrow for all those who gave their lives to Jesus Christ tonight. We'll be meeting by 3 p.m. at the classrooms behind the congregation here, right inside this compound. Don't miss it. Lunch hour with Jesus. Our counselors, let's go around and assist the people. If you know how to write, collect the form and fill it yourself. Write in capital letter your name, your phone number, your location address. If you have your email, write it there. Write it clearly. God has done something wonderful in your life. You must not keep it. The power of God has touched you and transformed you tonight. It's a wonderful decision. You will never forget. A counselors, you signify Signify to us if you have uh, covered your own area. Let's know by waving the white flag onto us. To my right hand side, if you have um, you are over, please wave your flag. If you are done with the counseling at the middle, wave the flag and let's see. Supervisors. To my left hand side, if you are done with counseling, please wave the flag and let's see you. The rest of us should be praying. Tonight, you are going to receive of the triumphant power. Raw, raw miracle is coming tonight. Get yourself ready. Be praying and be talking to the Lord. Be specific. This is my expectation. Your expectation will not be cut short tonight in Jesus' name. And sell us. Let's do that very quickly. And thoroughly too. If you are done with the counseling at the bar, can you please uh, wave your bag and let me see you at the middle. To my left hand side, if you are done with counseling, raise up your white flag. Let me see it. Let's patiently do that as the purpose why we're here. Those of us there, keep praying. Your miracle is coming on the way. You had the miracle. Testimony is coming from far. And that testimonies are here with us already. The Lord is moving. Get ready. You will not miss your own miracle tonight. God is here. He's going to touch you. Going to lift you up. Spectacular miracles are coming on your way. Get ready. Everybody. Cancel us. If you're done with your own cancel in your own section. Don't wave the flag to us and let's know that you are finished in your own section. Thank God. 
If you are done with counseling, at the middle, can I see the flag? God is moving. He's moving in his power. You are going to receive of the touch of God tonight. Make sure you write down your name properly. This is the foundation of your miracle. God is happy in heaven for the decision you have taken. You should be happy or not as well. You have taken the decision money cannot buy. If you are done with counseling, I can hear the sound of joy already going on. Even when the miracle prayer has not started, God is already working. Get ready. Get ready. Your miracle is coming. It's already there with you. Counselors, let's hurry up. The man of God is waiting for us. Anointing that breaks the yoke is coming upon your life. Let's all rise up as we invite the man of God, the convener of GCK. You're welcome, Pastor W.F. Kumuye. You're welcome, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Triumphant power coming your way. Yeah. Miracle. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Healing. Yeah. Where? Yeah. It's going to happen in your life. Yeah. We're going to pray now. You raise up your hand if you need healing, deliverance, miracle. Supernatural power to touch you. Roll away the problem. Raise up that hand and lay the hand where you have the problem. Once we mention the name of Jesus, your problem will clear out of the way. Amen. And so after the final amen, you will check up to see that God has done it. Amen. Raise up one hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We know that Christ, our Savior, Redeemer, Healer, Deliverer, is mighty to save and mighty to heal. And therefore, Lord, I pray for everyone, everyone here, whatever the challenge, whatever the problem and everyone online i pray lord send forth your power to everyone in jesus name lord touch them and heal them now deliver everyone now manifest that irresistible power and lord heal even the so-called incurable in jesus name Amen. almighty god you are the god of all flesh and nothing is impossible for you your people have come they're looking up to you they're expecting that this will be the moment of their miracle the moment of their healing the moment of their deliverance with assurance, with confidence, I declare to them that their problems are taken away. Yeah. Sicknesses taken away. Yeah. Oppression taken away. Yeah. Affliction taken away. Yeah. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Your will chair, let the triumphant power of the Lord touch your right idea. Get up in Jesus' name. Your eyes were blind. You couldn't see. I sent forth 
that triumphant power on your eyesight. Open your eyes and see in Jesus' name. Leprosy, skin disease, eating away your flesh. I cancel that leprosy. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I command that that epilepsy and that madness will vanish away right now. Spirit of epilepsy and spirit of madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Incurable disease like cancer, ulcer, whatever, I send forth the power into your life right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb, I pray that the mighty power of God will come through those ears. And that deaf tongue, that dumb tongue, be healed in Jesus' name. Just for a lame, or you have arthritis, or you have stroke, or paralyzed totally, no matter how long that condition had been there, the power of the Lord come upon you. Yeah. Triumphant power, raise you up right now. Yeah. Strike that arm. Strike that leg. Yeah. And that shorter leg, grow out right now. Yeah. Paralysis, vanish away right now. Yeah. And the strength to stand and to walk, even to run, grant unto them now. Yeah. Lord, I pray everywhere, to my right, to my left, to the front, at the back, everywhere, in uh, the house, on the radio, and television, and in every country, online, uh, power comes upon everyone right now. You are healed. You are delivered. The Lord has set you free. God has transformed your life. Pain, sickness, everything gone. Lord, let there be confirmation everywhere. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Check up yourself to see that it has happened. And whatever you couldn't do before, now, the healing, the deliverance, the freedom has come to you. You can do it right now. Amen of confirmation in every life. Thank you.